My name is Zane Press Rosemont News. I'm here at the Rosemont Runners High School football field. We're going to get ready for a Rosemont Runners football game. This is the Runners facing off against Vasquez this evening. It's going to be a good game. And as we start off things, we have the Roadrunners marching band and color guard along with the ROTC presenting the colors to start off with the national anthem. The Star Spangled Banner. And here come your Rosemont Roadrunners. Game now with Vasquez kicking off to Rosemont. Number nine, Ryan Webb running it. Number nine, Ryan Webb. Right, a first and five here for Rosemont. Ball is on the 42 yard line. About a yard or two game there. Now the ball's on the 42. Tend to go. Smooth run. Up off to the left on our 42 for the Mustangs, making a touchdown for the Mustangs. First of the game. We have the Mustangs here now going for a field goal. And it is good. Now putting the Mustangs at seven to Rosemont, nothing. Shot the scoreboard here with five minutes and 40. 49 seconds left in the first quarter. We have seven for the Mustangs and zero for the Red Runners. The Mustangs are here. Third right down with 12 to go. And we're out to the left here. Number 13 is moving really quick. Goes all the way, make another touchdown. And the field goal is good once again. Now putting the Mustangs at 14 to Rosemont, zero. Shout out to the scoreboard there after that touchdown by the Mustangs, number 13. You have 14 for Vasquez and you have zero for your runners here. The Mustangs have it here, first and goal. And the ball is ran in. Number 22 for the Mustangs. Putting them now at 20. Is shot of the scoreboard after that touchdown and field goal by the Mustangs. The score is 21 to Rosemont 0 with 9 minutes 24 seconds left in the first half of the game. Nice play, passed it by number 7, Jane Velasquez. Runners here on the 47-yard line, third down, 10 to go. Nice fight by Ricky Marcel, number 24. Another great catch by number 24, Ricky Herrera. Pass is complete, and we get a penalty marker on the play. Here we have the second half of the game getting started here. We have the Vasquez Mustangs first on offense. Mustangs run it in for a touchdown. Number 22, Bernie Martinez, good for a touchdown. Number 22 for the Mustangs. And now the score is 27 to 0. Here in the start of the third quarter, scoreboard there. 27 to 0. Mustangs are up. Rosemont with 0 still with 8 minutes and 51 seconds.
minutes, seconds left in the third quarter. Number 13 for the Mustangs. Make another run into, make a touchdown. Brandon McCauley. It's Brandon McCauley. After that touchdown and field goal, the score is now 34 to zero. Mustangs with 34 and Rosemont with zero. Number 22, Bertie Martinez, touchdown, Mustangs. Another touchdown for the Mustangs, number 22. Now putting the Mustangs at 40. Rosemont zero. And with that, another touchdown by Vasquez. Score is 41 now to Rosemont zero. With four minutes, 24 seconds left. In number nine, Ryan. Please number 20, Jared Casey. Touchdown, Mustang. Another touchdown for the Mustangs here in the fourth quarter. Putting them now at 47 to Rosemont's nothing. Mustangs here will now go. Going for the field goal. It's no good. Try the scoreboard there after that touchdown. It's now 47 to zero. 47 Mustang, zero with Rosemont. Nine minutes, 22 seconds left in the game. My name is Zane Press, Rosemont News after that game, Vasquez versus Rosemont. And I'm here with Joey Magnolia, number 65. Joey, what's your position out there on the field? No stuck on right guard. All right, so you're on defense. Yep. Now, how is that for you? The field went pretty well. Thought we could have played a lot better, but tried my best. All right, and I know you guys suffered a loss. You know, I know that that might be discouraging. But I can tell, like, as I've seen you play, you know, you want to try your best, and you're doing your best, you know, and this is your last year, you're senior, correct? Yes, sir. And so how does that make you feel being your last year playing football here on the field? It makes me feel great. I'm not giving up on this team. Great. What's something you feel that, you know, you guys need to improve on a little bit to keep your heads up? Tackling and keeping together as a team. All right, and how long have you been playing football? I think this would be my sixth year playing. All right, how's football been treating you through those six years? Treating me great, learned a lot. What's some of the things you learned? Tell me about you know, your personal experience. Learning how to keep a team together, learning how to keep my head up and not give up on my team or myself. All right, great. Well, what's some advice you can give to um, you know, younger players that want to be playing football in the high school, what they can do to prepare for it? So be ready to hit and keep your heads up and you can play varsity, guys. Everything you do on the field, make it count. Make every rep, every practice, every practice play count. All right, great. And do you play any other sports, Joey? Wrestling. All right, you wrestle. So we'll see you later on in the school year doing wrestling. Yep. All right, sounds good. Well, I wish you the best of luck here in your football season and then in your future with wrestling. Thank you. I'm here now with Garrett Rain, number 50. Garrett, how did you feel about that game you just played? I feel like that we could have done a lot better. Like, we didn't try our hardest and we could have of, uh, just put more into the game. We didn't give our all. And I know that we can we can bring it out. And we just need to we just need to round it up together as captains and put the like, get the, uh, the uh, like camaraderie, the morale. Yeah, the morale. Up. I understand what you're saying. All right, that's great. You know, so I saw you out here last year. You know, you how I've been playing football. Playing football for eight years now. All right, how's football treating you? I love it. I love every day of it, and it makes me happy. And I just love the game. All right, what position are you out here playing on the field this year? Uh, on offense, I play left tackle or left guard. Sorry. And on defense, I play left tackle. All right, now you both you play two tackling positions, both on offense and on defense. How is that transition? How is that a little bit different? Well, on offense, um, your weight distribution is more on your legs and on defense the, more, the weight distribution is more to your hand and you, it, you use moves more on defense than offense. Great. All right, so you know you got a good insight on what you're doing. You, know, you say you've been playing for eight years, so that's amazing. You know, you're a senior now, right? Yes. All right, so this is your last year out here playing for the high school. How does that make you feel emotionally? I, I, I'm going to miss it a 
love playing high school football and there's never going to be anything like this ever again. All right, great. And what's some uh, advice you can give being you know, an eight-year football player, playing on varsity for as a senior, and being a captain? How, what's some advice you can give to you know people that want to come to high school and play varsity football? Work your hardest and never, never get the morale down. Always keep it up and just work, work, work. All right, great. Well, this has been our 50. Jared Rennie, thank you for your time.